Today is August 17th. This is the pumpkin update. Got a lot more side vines coming off of the main vine here. The main vine has gone and found its way up underneath the um, red twig dogwood, variegated dogwood. And to understand. Looks like I need to do some work with the main vine. That's the main vine. You can see it still has side vines coming off of it. It's filled in this area quite well. It's following the main vine back up here. A couple side vines here still coming off of it. A lot more side vines on that side of the main vine. I think because of the shade from the trampoline and the very, very tall evergreen tree that grows in the corner of my yard that shadows this pumpkin patch. This is right about noon, <laughs> high noon. You can see it's quite in the shade right now. At any rate, maybe that's good or bad. But this is the pumpkin that it's producing. Yesterday we measured it. It was right at about 110, 115 pounds. Came out to about 170 inches total. See the main vine, which is kind of buried here underneath this grass. Came out of that box there. The vine is pretty much rotten at the stem, at the stump. It's been rotten since mid July. It's just gotten worse and worse. I think it's finally stopped to the point where. There's really nothing holding it on anymore. Yeah, it's kind of, kind of a mess. And anyway, this is where it entered the grass and I piled up a lot of potting soil to help protect it. And it's buried down there, but it's lost a lot of its first leaves from the side vines that came off the main vine there. I've been culling them as they die off a few here that have some aged marks on them but I'm just trying to let it keep growing as much as possible and uh, see what we can get out of this and to show you this side vine over here that has come off and proceeded to I had to move it and made it bend this way and come in front of the forsythia so that I didn't go in, up there into my neighbor's uh, uh, rocks. And this one here, this side vine has gone up into that Irvinum, I think it's called. I can't even remember. Anyway, uh, it's kind of petered out probably because there's too much shade. You don't see the female pumpkin there. So that is the pumpkin patch in August 17th, 2018. We are, let's see, Fourteen, 25 days out. Got to keep this thing growing 25 more days. Oh, I was going to show you this. These are my elephant ears. Looks like I got a, my tomatoes all flopped over. This one here got put inside of a fence, so it's halfway contained, but that's one tomato plant there called Better Boy, I think. 
father-in-law brought me some beautiful zinnia transplants. We tried starting some in this box from seed, but they did not take. But what did take was this enormous, giant sunflower. It's kind of flopped over. I'm going to go around the other side. This is the second sunflower seed that did. The shovel's been messing with it, but anyway. Second one that took off and it split off into two heads. It's hard to show them. Some of blackberries. I gotta get that moved closer to these telephone poles. I don't like where they're planted right now. Anyway, oh look, we got a second head on that. Can't manage to make it through my own garden anymore. There we go. That's the giant sunflower. In reference to my hand. That's my hand. And that looks like it's got a second head starting there. Thanks for watching.